rather surprisingly, a lot of you guys are relatively new to the game, and I'm often asked if I can explain how I go about playing it. War Thunder is a pretty difficult game to get into. It has an incredibly steep learning curve, and it's steep enough that even if you have thousands of hours in it, you can still learn new things. I wouldn't consider myself to be amazing at War Thunder, but I do have some tips and pointers. But before we get into it, I want to talk about my sponsor. I am partnered with Apex Gaming. They make pre-built PCs. If you're looking to upgrade, you should check them out. Link is in the description and comments. You can use my username as a discount code on checkout. Now back to the video. Here's my first bit of advice. Don't compare yourself to content creators. If you're watching a video where someone is consistently demolishing everything, and getting upwards of 6 or 7 kills per game, don't set yourself to that standard. CCs aren't going to be showing their low points, only their highs. I do it too. Watching someone die after getting 2 kills isn't entertaining, so they show the games where they do best. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Videos are supposed to be entertaining, but it's not a standard you should strive for. I don't have to try extremely hard to get background footage, but I'm not going to upload clips where I get spawn sniped, or die because volumetric screwed me. Next up, positioning. It's probably the most important skill there is. If you can get positioning down pat, you can make pretty much any tank work. Vehicles all have their own idiosyncrasies, so you have to know where to place yourself to leverage them. This is an extreme example, but take the M901. It's a very soft target, and it can't fire on the move, but it has an elevating launcher and great gun depression. That makes it less than ideal for urban environments, but great for hilly terrain. Sometimes you get a map where your ideal terrain doesn't exist, so you have to improvise. Going back to the M901 example, if you get an urban map, you will often be able to find these large piles of rubble. Using these, you can fire at targets while hiding your hole behind cover. When you load into a map, you have to be thinking about how you can use your vehicle strengths. Far too often I see people just hold W to the nearest capture point, and they usually get smoked right away. If your tank is fast but has low damage or reaction times, set yourself up in an ambush position. If your tank is slow, well armored, but can react quickly, use it as a CQC brawler. When I unlock a vehicle, I usually take a good look at it before I crew it. Look at the stats, the armor, where the ammo is, how much ammo I can take to maximize survivability, and mess around with it in test drive. Another small tip. Going back to capture points, don't jump on one right after clearing it. It's basically a big here I am come shoot me sign. If you're next to a captain ahead of your team, keep pushing forward and try to take out enemies. Don't push into the enemy spawn. You are essentially clearing the area for your teammates, so they can take the cap safely. If you really need to cap for a challenge or RP, you can backtrack when your team starts taking it. In terms of RP gain, I find this is usually the better approach. If you're trying to peek around a corner, make sure your barrel isn't poking out. If you can't reverse far enough to keep it hidden while facing forward, place it at a sideways angle. If someone is watching the corner you're on, they can snipe your barrel. If you're fighting someone head-on and haven't disabled them, make sure your barrel is constantly moving while reloading. This applies more to heavies and well-armored mediums, but it makes it harder for them to disable you. On the topic of disabling, knowing where to shoot is probably the second most important skill you can learn. This is something that comes with experience, but there are a few general rules of thumb. The two easiest ways to kill a tank are as follows. Take out all but one crew member, or shoot the ammo racks. For the former, most tanks will have one side which has the most crew members. For example, if you're facing a Centurion, shooting the left side will kill three crew members. For most Russian MBTs, you would shoot the right side. In the case of ammunition racks, you can use the X-ray to find where the first stage ammo rack is. This rack will always be filled, so try to aim for that. If you're not confident you can kill a tank in one shot, you should always try to disable the gun first. For vehicles that don't have a turret, disabling the engine first is best. That way they can't turn to shoot you, and they also can't drive away. And finally, War Thunder is a really frustrating game. Sometimes you'll just get a bad string of games, where you die right away every time. In that case, I find it's better to just get up and do something else for a bit. Playing while frustrated never ends well. I know there's this mindset of, well I need to have at least one good game, but when you play while upset, you generally play worse. You're more likely to make bad decisions. I know a lot of this advice isn't new, but it's honestly the best I've got. I hope it helps even a little bit, and I'll see you guys on the next one.